thank you all for coming. Um, this is um, a very difficult moment for the family of Alexis Crawford, who has been missing since Wednesday evening and early, somewhere between Wednesday evening and early Thursday morning. Alexis is a 21-year-old student at Clark Atlanta University, um, which is a member of the Atlanta University Center, the largest consortium of African-American colleges and universities in the country. Uh, a young lady who's got her whole life ahead of her from Athens, Georgia. She graduated from Clark Central High School in Athens and is the daughter of two very loving parents and uh, a member of a very large family. She has four sisters and five brothers, most of whom stand with us here today. Um, Alexis is somebody that this family loves and cares very much for, and they are praying for her return. But we are here today to ask the people of Atlanta uh, to come forward with help and information that could lead to Alexis's return to her family. Uh, this afternoon, let me first start by saying this morning, I got a call from Monica, uh, who is Alexis's sister, uh, and she called and uh, we immediately got involved to try to help this family through a very difficult set of circumstances and navigating through the various law enforcement agencies that are actively looking for uh, Ms. Crawford. We met earlier today with the Clark Atlanta Police Department's Chief of Police, Chief Deborah Williams, and she assured this family that the Clark Atlanta Police Department would do everything it could to, uh, to, to bring um, this young lady home to her family. And we just finished a meeting with the senior leadership here in the Atlanta Police Department who also uh, assured this family that as the lead investigative agency, they would do all that they could uh, and the family and I have great confidence in the men and women that are looking for elect, uh, for Ms. Crawford. Uh, and we, we have every reason to believe that Atlanta police will get to the bottom of what happened to her. But today I stand with this family asking for several things of the people of Atlanta. First, I would ask the people of Atlanta to pray for the family and for Ms. Crawford. Um, this is nothing short of a tragic set of circumstances. Uh, we know she's gone through a lot. She recently experienced uh, some things that no young woman should ever have to experience. Uh, and so we, we ask the people of Atlanta to, to pray for uh, Alexis and, and her family. But secondly and more importantly, there are people in this community, students in the AU Center and other places, that may have information that can be helpful uh, in finding out just where uh, Ms. Crawford is. And I would ask the people of Atlanta to come forward with any information that you might have to help uh, the Atlanta Police Department to do uh, their very best in finding Ms. Crawford and bringing her home. Uh, there are several people that I want to ask to say something very briefly to you. We recognize and the family recognizes that this is an active and ongoing investigation, so uh, they will not be briefing uh, the public, as I will not, on everything that is known because we don't want to undermine the investigation. We simply want the people of Atlanta to come forward with any information. There may be a point later in the week uh, where we announce a canvas of the community where, uh, near where, Ms. Crawford lived. She lived only a couple of blocks away from Clark Atlanta University. So we may come back to the public and ask for the public to help this family to canvas. The bottom line is there is a young woman who is missing. Uh, she was sent from Athens, Georgia to Atlanta by her family to receive an education. And I think the people of Atlanta uh, owe it to this family to do all that we can as a community to help the Atlanta Police Department to get to the bottom of this set of circumstances. Uh, I've asked several members of Ms. Crawford's family to make a brief statement to you all, uh, and the captain who's overseeing this investigation uh, is going to make a statement as well, and then the captain and I will attempt to answer any of your questions, but we don't want to subject the family uh, to too much 
uh, conversation. The first person that I would ask to speak is Mr. Bobby Wright, who is Miss Crawford's father, who drove up from Athens and has made the determination he's not leaving the city until his baby is found. Mr. Crawford. time for our family and if Lexi she's watching I just want you to know you've always been my role model you're my strength my aspirations in life and I just want you to come home and be safe and I hope God, God's walking with you and, and please prevent any evil that comes our way and we're here for you I love you Lexi I miss you I've been, um, for a couple of decades, dealing with issues of civil and human rights in Atlanta, and these kinds of situations are by far the most difficult um, to try to reconcile. Um, but the family is assured they have met again with the Atlanta Police Department after meeting with the Clark Atlanta. Police Department, they are assured that the investigators are doing all that they can. And uh, we're thankful to the APD and most especially uh, the lead on this is Captain Gwen uh, Villarreal. Close enough, she said. Uh, Captain Gwen is the Assistant Commander of Major Crimes for the Atlanta Police Department. Uh, and so the Captain is going to come forward and, uh, and give us some words. Good afternoon. I just want to echo what has already been stated um, from Reverend Hutchins and from the family members and their plea. As you can see, the emotions are running very deep. Um, this is a praying, believing um, family, and they do believe in their holy, holding faith that Alessis will come home. And so we are petitioning yet again the public for your assistance in those efforts. So if you have any additional information that you can provide the Atlanta Police Department, we're encouraging each and every one of you to call Crime Stoppers. Um, we can't stress that enough. There's nothing that, um, that you may think is not important. Everything that you have is important at this time because we need to bring Ms. Crawford back home safely to her family. So that is our priority at this time. And so we're asking Atlanta yet again um, to call, as we know that Crime Stopper, Stoppers does offer a reward, um, and your information that you provide to us will remain anonymous. So again, we're asking and we're pleading for the Atlanta, the citizens of this great city, to actually make sure we get involved and we do everything possible in order to reconnect this loving family. Thank you, Captain. Um, again, and, and finally, um, Atlanta is the home of the largest consortium of African American colleges and universities in the United States of America. And we are all, of course, very proud of the AU Center and the bright and brilliant young people that are educated there. Uh, this could be any one of our families. Any family that is watching the evening news tonight will and should sympathize with this family. So again, we appeal to the people of Atlanta to come forward with information to call Crime Stoppers and to alert the law enforcement authorities of any information. We encourage students on the campus of Clark Atlanta University as well as Morehouse Spelman, the Morehouse School of Medicine and Morris Brown. If you heard anything, if you've heard anything that's gossip or you believe is rumor, no issue, no information is too small or insignificant, please, please come forward. And most importantly, we are a city that has overcome a great deal, and the faith of our people in the city of Atlanta has, has kept us through a lot of tumultuous times. I can't think of a more uh, important thing that the people of Atlanta could be praying for and praying towards than the safe return of Alexis Crawford. 